Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? It is Masters Week this week. I am so, so excited. Always brings a really unique feeling to the Masters. Always gets you really pumped up and excited for the golf season coming this summer. But today, we are actually taking a look at the odds of who you should put your money on at the Masters. Who do I think is going to win? Who's maybe the best odds, best value for money? And who you should basically bet on? So let's take a look. I'm going to get my phone out. And we're going to go on to a popular UK-based betting company called Bet365. So I'm on the to win outright category. So this is just to bet on who the winner is going to be. So obviously, you know, world number one, Dustin Johnson and defending champion is obviously going to be the favorite. Nine to one, not bad odds. I mean, if I was going to say who's going to win this week, I would probably say Dustin Johnson and Jordan Spieth would be my two top, top guys. I mean, it is obvious, but we'll be having a look at some others, maybe some longer shots you could you could place your money on, some less likely winners. But obviously they are going to be the favourites. Jordan Spieth, in amazing form, just won last week. He And he loves Augusta. He has such an amazing record at the Masters. You could put a bet on Jordan Spieth, you know, to make the cut, and you would almost 100% be guaranteed by that but you're obviously not going to make much money so that's why we're having a look at the to win outright because you could even if you put one pound on you could get 11 pounds back on Jordan Spieth and one pound on Dustin Johnson you could get nine back so these guys are the favorites but if you want to bet on them you could still make some money you could you know bet five pounds and still you know get enough to pay pay the bar tab for uh for a few weeks at the course. Okay, so let's look down the list. Bryson DeChambeau, again, top of the list, has been in great form. I think this week, you know, last year at the Masters, he came out saying he was going to hit driver ever, he was going to tear the course apart. That didn't happen. His strategy was slightly wrong on some holes. He will have learnt a lot from that. He's not a stubborn guy. If something's not working, he changes it. I would look at him and again say that he will be, you know, up there this week I think his strategy will be a lot better on the golf course than it was he won't be so aggressive and he'll play maybe more of the long game a bit slower a bit steadier try and just keep some more consistency I'm surprised to see Rory McIlroy up there to be honest he is one person I wouldn't put money on this week he does have a new coach I actually just released a video all about Rory McIlroy and his new coach on my channel if you haven't seen that check it out it's pretty cool, but he has a new coach, and he will be making some changes to his golf swing, so there will be good things coming from McElroy soon. I just think this may be a little bit too soon. He hasn't been in the best form. He hasn't been in bad form for any average PGA Tour player, but he's one of the best players in the world. Hasn't been in the best form. Let's have a little scroll down the list here. Let's see who else we've got. Victor Hovland, again, 33-1. to 1. You know, he is a superstar in the game of golf. He will be winning a lot of majors, and that is definitely someone, you know, he's he's not a shy guy when it comes to winning. He's not afraid to back down. He's he he definitely I would say gives the kind of spirit of a major winner. So, again, not a bad guy at all to bet on Victor Hovland. And a bit more of a long shot to be fair, because even if you've just put 2 pounds on, you're getting 66 back. Let's have a little look who else we have got. Xander Schauffele always does well in the majors. Colin Morikawa, again, absolutely stellar player. Not afraid, already a major champion, and not afraid to go low. Although with Colin Morikawa, you do have to think that, you know, he does hit a fade and Augusta does suit a draw. And he actually did a press conference yesterday, I caught a bit of, basically saying that he's been practicing working on a draw just really specifically for some of the holes at Augusta where you kind of really have to hit a draw. So that will be interesting to see how that pans out. Webb Simpson, great putter, one of the best wedge players in the world, and hits a big high swooping draw. Plus, very, very experienced PJ Tour player. I would I would say put some money on him this week. He is in pretty good form, been playing well the last few weeks, and just has a game that suits this golf course, plus has the experience and kind of the demeanor, I would say, to win. So not a bad outside shout. Obviously now we're getting down more into, you know, kind of the middle of the pack, and then we'll have a look, and I'll just pick out some of my guys that have been doing well, that I think could do really well this week around Augusta. Or maybe some that I don't think will do well as well. 
Uh, Scotty Scheffler has been playing very, very well the last few weeks, but I don't think he will do as well this week. Purely because his his ball striking is amazing. He drives the ball really, really well. Really good tee to green. He hasn't been putting very well at all. At any golf tournament, putting is so important. I mean, that's kind of in some ways really what stopped him winning a couple of weeks ago. Is he just didn't hold that many putts. But at Augusta, putting is even more important. So I wouldn't a hundred percent put money on him. But I think you know tee to green, he's good enough. Just I don't think he'll hold the putts. Lee Westwood and Sergio Garcia, two very experienced players, both being in really good form lately. Possible, if you want to support a European, I would maybe consider going for them. Paul Casey, again, has been in good form, probably not as much as Lee Westwood, but, you know, again, stellar player. And all these guys, Lee Westwood, Paul Casey, and Sergio, have so much experience around the Masters. Paul Casey does like to hit a draw as well, I believe. So that could suit the golf course. And, you know, he's done pretty well there in the past few years. Lee Westwood does like prefer to hit a fade, but he has good experience at the Masters. Again, he's not the best putter in the world, so something to bear in mind, basically. Sergio obviously has already won here. Great ball striker. I, I think he would have to have an amazing putting week to, to win again here. Let's keep going. Matt Fitzpatrick, great player. Has been doing very well the last few weeks. Good ball striker, but very good short game and good putter and has done well at Augusta. Tommy Fleetwood, I don't... He, he has the game for it. I'm just not sure if he could hold up under pressure, maybe, for a first-time major win at Augusta. It would be impressive. I'd love to see it. Let's go Louis Oosthuizen. Now, this is a guy, definitely a bit more of an outside bet. But he has an incredible record at Augusta. He seems to always play well there. If you want to put a bet on someone maybe to make the cut at Augusta, great player, great, great player to look at there. Um, yeah, he's a great player. He just always seems to, you know, it's just horses for courses. He just loves Augusta. Let's keep going. You've got obviously Bubba Watson, Adam Scott, both previous winners. Will Zalatoris, great stellar young player coming up in the game. Billy Horschel just won a couple weeks ago. Matt Kuchar, solid player, but I'm going to keep going. None of these guys are really standing out to me. Let's keep going. Matt Wallace did play very, very well last week, um, up until kind of the final round where he couldn't get the momentum going, didn't quite hold the putts he needed to. Phil Mickelson, definitely an outside bet. Um, hasn't been in the best of form, but at 125 to 1, you know, won the Masters numerous times before. Maybe, may I, I don't feel confident enough to recommend that, but um, if you're feeling like a bit of a risk, possibly. It would be an amazing story for Tiger to win it two years ago and then for Phil to come in and win it too, uh, just a couple of years later, and especially at his age. Let's keep going. All these guys have amazing games. Christian Bezadenhout, if you don't know who he is, he is a, well, more of a European tour player. But he won, I think it was four times last year on the European Tour. He knows how to win. He has a great, very solid game. Good passer, good ball striker. Could be one to watch to get up there. Also, Kevin Kisner, very, very solid game. Uh, great ball striker, great passer, and he likes to hit a high draw, so could suit Augusta. Francesco Molinari has a good record around Augusta, but he hasn't been in great form. So, again, it's kind of horses for courses, though, and I feel like at Augusta... It's not always so much about form. Sometimes these guys don't have any form, and yet you see them coming in and doing really, really well. So that is something to bear in mind, that they, it doesn't matter really if they haven't been playing well the last few weeks. Maybe the courses didn't suit them, but when they get back to August, they get that feeling. They, you, know, you always tend to see a lot of the same guys up there on the leaderboard at Augusta. Let's keep going. Uh, Zach Johnson, very, very outside bet there. Does like to hit a big high draw. Um, you know, previous champion and everything. Let's keep going and see if any of these guys stand out to me. I mean, it is tough. Obviously, we are down the bottom end of the odds table here. So if you did put a bet on any of these guys and they won, you're going to get quite a lot of money back. Mike Weir, left-handed, previous previous Masters champion. He is a bit more up there in age now, but, you know, 1,500 to 1. Not very likely, but he has done it before. You've got a lot of previous um, previous open, uh, previous open Masters champions down here towards the bottom, but not in great form, really. 
So guys, I'm going to wrap this video up by choosing one person from each kind of category, if you will, from, you know, some of the favourites, some of the middle, and one person who's a bit of a long shot, to recommend who I think will do well this week. I've got to go Jordan Spieth uh, out of the favourites. I just have to, after he won last week, his record around Augusta is incredible. His When his putting gets going, it is just lights out and... That, that would be my overall person I would look at on this and think, yeah, I could see him him pulling it out of the bag this week. And what a story it would be when he hadn't won since 2017. I was actually at the last golf tournament he won, the Open Championship in 2017. Then he wins last week, and if he won again this week, would be an incredible, incredible comeback story. So that's my favourite pick. He's in form, he's at a course he likes, you know, everything is there. Great putter of the golf ball can move it both ways. Now we're gonna go for more of a middle ground pick. So, let's have a look. I'm going to go with, hmm, there's quite a few good names here, I have to say. There's a few people I'd look at and think, yeah, you, I could kind of see you pulling it out of the bag this week. I'm gonna go, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go Matt Fitzpatrick. I think, you know, he could do really well this week. He's done well in the Masters before. Great putter of the golf ball. Has had some form recently. You know, maybe not one of the favourites, but he hasn't won a major yet, so definitely more of an outside bet. But he's been in form, been playing well. He's my kind of middle of the pack pick. Now let's go for more of a long shot. Let's go for someone outside of the odds of, let's say, let's go for someone outside of 100 to 1. So anyone lower than that. I mean, obviously, it is, it's not slim pickings, there's a lot of big names here, but they're obviously towards the bottom end because they're either not in form or, you know, not been playing well or don't typically play well around Augusta. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go Robert McIntyre. If you don't know who Robert McIntyre is, it's here at 160 to 1. He is a European Tour player. He is the lowest ranked left-hander in the world. Uh, lowest ranked, I think he may be the lowest ranked Scottish golfer in the world as well. He is a left-handed player, on the, plays on the European Tour mostly. Really, really good player. Really solid golf, uh, ball striker and golfer. A lot of, you know, golf experts and um, commentators always say this guy is going to be really good. Young player, hasn't won a major obviously, but he's a left-hander. He, you know, I could see him doing well with a fade around Augusta. I could see it suiting him and he putts well. Those are my three picks. Jordan Spieth, uh, who is my middle one, Matt Fitzpatrick, and Robert McIntyre. Jordan Spieth, pretty obvious. Robert McIntyre, definitely a long shot. Matt Fitzpatrick, great middle of the pack player. Thank you very much for watching this, guys. I hope you guys are super, super excited for the Masters this week. I know I am. I'd love to know what you thought of this video. Comment down below, like it, subscribe to the channel. I will be doing videos every day this week, maybe some like Masters Roundup type videos, something like that. So check those out as well. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Grip it and rip it, guys. Thanks for watching.